Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are in the new dressing room. It is still not done. Um, there is still a lot to do. Because um, I don't really know where to put my camera at the moment. Um, I'm still trying to sort of learn the room and try to sort out an area that is got the background but also has me and I wanted to be closer to the window because I haven't actually set up my ring light yet so I'm using natural light today that's probably going to be it's probably going to be a massive massive fail yeah so we're going to be using natural light today it will probably be a massive massive fail but I mean it looks okay from what I can see but anyway we are going to be doing the bit late to the trend I know but we're going to do the latte makeup trend um I've seen it and it's just basically it's, it's a makeup trend that I love um and it's probably a makeup trend that I do I just didn't realize it was just a trend if you know what I mean like I I like that sort of look so we will do that today so let's go as you can see I have already done my brows I've also turned my neck and this area here because it saves dragging my foundation down my neck, basically. So let's go on for skin first. So I'm gonna go in with, because you, for the last thing I cut trend, you want your skin to be dewy, glowy, and yeah. So I'm gonna go in with the PS Skin Plus Vitamin C 3% Boost Serum first. This is honestly lovely and it smells so good. It smells like you're in a spa. That's how nice it smells, you know, it's got that really nice sort of sparry smell, but it also feels incredible on the skin and it's just super, super hydrating and it leaves your skin a little bit tacky as well, which is, a, which is another bonus, if I'm honest, but it, yeah, it's another bonus. So yeah, just gonna rub that in. I'm trying not to put it down my neck because I normally with skincare I will take it down my neck and now they're saying that you should take it down your neck so I was watching this morning the other day and they were talking about skincare products and they were saying that you should drag it down your neck because um, it's you know everyone misses this part so they, they stop here and then people are like why are you stopping it there you need to take your skincare down your neck so these anti-aging creams and stuff they can support your neck as well so a lot of women have, were saying on there that they have like the like the loose skin that like sort of hangs here and they were saying like you know you want you want to tighten that so like you, they had these all these massages and stuff and tightening this this area so then it doesn't droop but yeah moving on little hack there that was from this morning if you are like <clears throat> available to watch tv in the mornings this morning is such a good tv program to watch and why i'm telling you this is because they talk about a lot of makeup skincare hair care they talk about a lot of products on there and what is best for you where you can pick them up from where the good deals are all the benefits that they do honestly i've learned so much just from watching that and also where the dupes are they do they do like to swing in a little dupe there but yes um the next oh actually i'm gonna go in with the lms superfood glow primer moisturizer because this is like really glowy and i thought well this is going to help with um the look that we're going to do to get it's kind of like a um it looks like a foundation but it's like really sheer but it's also again so so nice on the skin and as you can see how glowy that's just made my skin look how glowy i am now that is really really nice but yeah we're getting there <laughs> and then because obviously i want my makeup to last <clears throat> most of the day i'm gonna put the beauty props um gripping primer this is that's one of my cream carpet why did that shoot out like that oh my god see this is why i put a rug down from where where i'm sitting i've got a rug because makeup and cream carpet no they don't gel so yeah that is the gripping primer it is 
so gripping like your makeup will grip to it now you probably think you don't normally focus this much on skincare when you do your makeup no i don't i don't focus i don't really tend to talk about skincare when i do my makeup which i am gonna start doing because skincare is just as important as what you're putting on your face afterwards so if you can get in the skincare and learn about the skincare then your makeup will last a lot longer and as you can see i am really glowy now so yeah um so foundation i bought a new foundation the other day and it was the primark foundation and apparently it's the dupe of the nars so this is the ps my perfect color illuminating foundation and it's a luminous finish with a wild pansy and rose ext extract it also has spf 20 in which is a massive bonus because it, none of that skincare that i used actually had spf in you can get moisturizers and stuff that have spf in so if you can make sure you're putting that on your face and not because it's sunny you swear to wear every day so yeah this is apparently the dupe of the nars mine is in the shade vanilla so and it is super glowy i tried it the other day just to see what it was like and honestly my skin was so so glowy it was so nice I was really, really happy with it on my skin. So I'm gonna go in with a beauty blender today just because I want it to be a bit more sheer. So, and I find with the beauty blender, it will do that because you, the thing about beauty blenders is, yes, they blend so, so nicely and so seamlessly, but they do take a lot of the product away from your skin because the sponge soaks it up. So it's always good to go in with a brush. But when you're wanting to look a bit more sheer and glowy i do find a beauty blender is your best option for that and that's just purely because it's taking away a lot of the product and it's only leaving like a nice thin layer which you kind of want that when you're doing uh, this sort of look you see how nice that foundation is look how glowy that is on my skin like it has just made my skin look so glowy and so healthy like and it's full coverage still so even though it says that it's illuminating it doesn't mean it's not full coverage that's another thing if your foundation is says illuminating it doesn't mean it's going to be thin it's still it can still be full coverage it will just give you a really really glowy sort of skin and that glowy texture which is kind of what you want so bronzer i think i'm gonna go in with the she glam bronzer so this is the she glam bronzer in warm honey this i'm going in with this because i do find that this is going to warm my face up to the to how much i want it to warm up if you know what i mean um because of the products that we're going to be using today so i do find that this is definitely the better product of them all to use. So I just go in with a little fluffy brush like this and I just really buff that into my skin. And as you can see, that's just really warmed that area up. Look at that. Also, please comment down below like, how the lighting is because obviously I am using natural lighting at the moment and you know a lot more people now are preferring to use natural lighting over artificial lighting because you're getting the textures of the skin whereas when you use artificial lighting it does take away the textures of the skin um, and makes the skin look very very blurred um, and it doesn't look I wouldn't say it doesn't look real but it's not given the viewers like exactly what your makeup's going to look like because your artificial lighting is blurring it out which is making the makeup look even better if you know what i mean but yeah if you like this natural lighting i've got a massive window so we can do the natural lighting it isn't an issue obviously it would only be an issue if the sun was going in and out in and out which would affect the lighting or if it was a really dull dark day then obviously i'd have to go with natural um artificial lighting but i'm happy to use natural light i think natural light is better because i'm not then lying to you you can see the textures of my skin and my pores and everything nothing is hidden we're being real <laughs> but yeah if you find that then 
perfect. We're all we're all in this together, kind of thing. Um, what I'm gonna use is the H&B Cosmetic Soft Focus Airbrush Concealer in the shade FN 0.5N. I'm still using this concealer. This concealer is definitely my ride or die. I love this concealer. This concealer is my favourite concealer that I've ever, ever used. And I will probably never, ever change. Unless something really good comes along, then I will. But until then, we're going to stick to this. Because this concealer is definitely a win-win for me. So... Um, I'm using a brush for my concealer. I find using a brush now is actually better because you're getting that coverage from the concealer. You're getting into that really tight into the under eye and it really does help. The even layer, the coverage and everything like that and you're also keeping the product there. So this is why I'm not using as much concealer now because I'm using a brush. Obviously the brush doesn't take away the product whereas a sponge does. And yeah, it's just so much better. I love using this. I will probably continue to use this until it breaks or something. Something happens to it, I lose it or something. But then I do like to go in with a sponge just to blur this sort of line out here where obviously my bronzer and my concealer meet and it will just blend them two tones together melting it all into the face and making it look gorgeous but yeah as you can see like under my eyes now we have that coverage we have that blur well, i wouldn't say blurred effect yet but you know i get i've got really dark circles underneath my eyes so the fact that that's hidden that is perfect i look awake i look alive <laughs> okay because we're doing the latte trend we're going to go in with a more orangey blush so i'm going to go in with the made by mitchell's blush in mellow mellow melon sorbet this is honestly stunning this i didn't think that i would be a peachy type of person but this this definitely did change me this definitely did change me look at that color it is it is gorgeous it is gorgeous Maybell Mitchell's been very, very clever with how he's done his blush blushes and the colours that he's used because he's made sure that they're for everyone. And when I mean everyone, I mean everyone, like every skin type. And they just suit everyone as well. Like, even if you think, oh no, that would be a bit too light for me or that would be a bit too dark for me, it will still look good. Like, because he's just, oh, he's just a genius. He really is. But look at that. How stunning is that gorgeous 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 so now i'm just going to pat a little bit over that just to blend that in just slightly i'm not taking away the pigment too much but i just want to blend it in a little bit slightly um a little bit slightly that's not good english is it um <laughs> so the powder that i'm going to go in with is going to be the Collection Last Imperfection Sheer Loose Powder. It is matte. Now, I don't think I have a non-matte powder because powder is matte, regardless. I mean, it'd be better if I had like a satiny one, but no, we only have matte. <laughs> so, hey ho, it's also in the shade Translucent 2. Um, so it's got like a bit of a, a warmer texture um than it being like white and like vibrant so i'm just gonna take out the creases on my eyes grab my powder puff and just place that can you see the difference in how that's just completely blurred that and even though i am using natural light you can still see that i'll do this one Look at that. We do still have a bit of a glow, but it's nothing that highlighter can't fix anyway. But yeah, it's nothing that highlighter can't fix. And, you know, loose highlighter will glow our face back up again. Do you know what I mean? So even if we do make our face fully matte and set, then it isn't an issue because we're going to go in with highlighter anyway. Because 
You have to with this look. You can't not. So I'm just going to pop on some powder. Same powder that I use, but I'm just popping it all over just to set this all in place. You know me now, I powder my whole face. Um, people say like, why do you powder your whole face? I just prefer it. I feel like I have more control over my bronzer with my face being powdered um, and set because then I find it blends easier. Um, and it's just a personal preference that I prefer. You don't have to. I know a lot of people really hate powder, especially people with dry skin. Um, a lot of people with glowy skin obviously tend to use more powder. Mine is a bit of both, but I tend to find my skin isn't as my skin isn't as dry in the summer months than it is in the winter months. The winter months I am so dry, but that is just down to the weather and you know going into like warm and then going in warm cold warm cold warm cold and also the heater in your car the heater in your car can really really dry your skin out so yeah that is just that's just why my skin goes dry really but people everyone's very similar probably everyone's probably got the same sort of thing as me like i definitely find that like my lips go really dry as well in the winter because we see the cold and everything okay now because we want to be warm we want a nice warm sort of skin complexion we want a nice peachy blush and we also want so the, the kind of highlighter that we want to go for is more goldy because we want that like goldy sort of tones that's that's the aim so the foundation that I'm going to go in, um, rewind, <laughs> the bronzer that I'm going to go in with is the Revolution Makeup, Revolution X Pride Bronzer. Um, this is, in, is, is the Mega Bronzer and this is in the shade Warm. I very rarely use this, as you can tell, the pattern is still on the thing. I very, very, very rarely use this. Um, but yeah, I thought, well, because we're going warm today, I feel like it's the perfect bronzer to use for that. Definitely. So anyway, how has everyone been? Like comment down below, like what what have you been up to? Like have you just um started like college or uni? Um if so, like what are you studying? Like because obviously it's a fresh term now. Um yeah, it's exciting times because like it's like you know another step into your future do you know what i mean okay so the lighting has changed slightly because the sun has gone in so i do apologize for that i can't really help this situation at the moment not while i don't have um my ring light up otherwise i would have just turned it on but you know we're just gonna deal with the natural lighting so as you can see that has really really warmed our complexion and we are still glowy can you see that we we do have still have a glow even though to be fair this doesn't actually say that it's matte so that's fine but yeah we do still have that sort of glow which is really really nice that's the, that's the glow that we want to keep but we'll obviously enhance it oh my god I just put that back. um so i'm just going to do my nose with it i haven't used this to contour my nose so i'm quite scared because i don't really know how this is but this this powder is very very like this bronzer is very very pigmented so you do need to be careful i'm literally just dipping in once and it's just yeah it's pretty powerful as you can see but if you always feel like you've done a little bit too much on the bronzer just take a fluffy brush that you powdered with and just blend and then you can just blend that nose in and then it'll just look a little bit more natural i'm also going to run this through my lid because we're not going to be doing any eyeshadow today I'm just going to run some bronzer through my lid and just pop it through my crease just like so I was going to do like a brown wing but I've decided not to because I just want it to be focused more on the skin than the eyes because that is the whole latte makeup sort of trend it's a lot more focus on the skin than it is on the eyes so I kind of don't want to draw that away from the eyes 
at the skin and it will be focused on the eyes. I just would just focus it all on the skin. Plus also a lot of my makeups are very focused on the eyes. I never really do focused in like on the skin. So it's nice to do something a bit different and actually focus more on the skin than the eyes. Okay, blush. So this is the Beauty Blay, Beauty Blay? I can't talk today. Beauty Bay Blush in Peachy. This is honestly such a nice like sort of peachy colour and I think it will just really really like make this look just pop. And I do think it's going to help this look massively. Because as you can see, that has just really warmed that area up. So you'll be able to see on this side. But it's just so so nice. Also I focus my blush on the outer edges of my skin now. So I focus it on this area here because it just lifts the face and it makes the skin look honestly gorgeous and it also blends in with your bronzer and it just it just looks so so nice. Like I love it. Put a bit on the nose and there we go. That is stunning. Then we want to go in with our highlight. So this highlight, I've not used this highlight for a very, very long time. It's a highlight that um, I used to always grab and gravitate to when I was the highlighter. I used to wear highlighter all the time and then I kind of chose that I like to be in that and then now I'm reverting back to being highlighted. But not like excessively like I used to be, that's for sure. So yeah, this is the Revolution Highlighter Reloaded in Raise the Bar. So this is a really, really nice goldy colour. Do a swatch for you. Look how stunning that colour is. That is honestly absolutely stunning and it was just going to look so, so nice on the skin. Now I can't get off my finger. So, what I'm going to do is, as you can see, it is very, very pigmented. So, tap the brush and I'm just going to focus it on this area here. Can you see that? Like how stunning is she? She is gorgeous. Like I said, she is very pigmented. So just be careful. If, I don't know, even know if you can get these highlighters anymore. I'm pretty sure you can. Look at that. Oh, oh my God, she's gorgeous. I do miss these sort of highlighters. Revolution always were the winners of the highlighters, that is for sure. They are so good at doing their highlighters. Because oh, just look at that. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Just gonna put a little bit on our nose. That is gorgeous. It's just beaming. It's just honestly, it's just beaming. Mm. I do miss like using them, do you know what I mean? I do, I do really miss it. I watched someone do the latte trend the other day and they used um so you know I've got the where is it? You know I've got the um, Take Two Cosmetics in Love Potion. So they have a gold one, I can't remember what it's called. And she used that and it was like this, but it was like, you know, like how Love Potion is, that sort of like bang. She used a gold one. Oh my God. Let me tell you, I definitely nearly bought it. That's for sure. I didn't buy it though. If you want me to buy it, comment down below and I will buy it. Just so you can see it because it was stunning. It was absolutely stunning. And looking at this now, I'm like, mm, I should have bought it. <laughs> But yeah, comment down below and I will, if you want me to buy it, I'll buy it. Just so you can see. So I'm going to go in with the Beauty Crop BFF Brow Friends Forever Oil. This is like a brow gel thing. I've started using this actually and I really, really like it. And it is very, very much like my um, Revolution X Love Islands uh, brow gel. This is very similar. So I do really, really actually enjoy using this and I haven't actually picked up my old one for a long time. I've just tend to stuck to this one. I think it's because the spoolie smaller is a lot easier to use. Um, but yeah, I am loving it though. You know, I told you guys, I was like, I'm never gonna find another brow gel like this. I've tried everything. Well, I, I, this was in my drawer and I don't know where I got it from. 
I honestly don't know where I got it from. I just found it in my drawer when I moved and I was sorting out my drawers and stuff. And I was like, hmm, I've not used this before. Let's try it. And I was like, why have I only just started using this now? Like what? Crazy, huh? Anyway, I'm now going to finish off with the mascara. And this is the L'Oreal Parrot Pack. L'Oreal Paris Telescopic Mascara in black. I don't actually own a brown mascara. Would you believe it? I don't actually own a brown mascara. But I do prefer to have my lashes more black. Just because I feel like... I don't know. I just think it just shows them up more. Because my lashes are black anyway. But they're not like super, super black. They are quite fair. So I definitely prefer using the black. But this, this mascara never fails. It never fails. It is so, so good. Also, who's been enjoying the weather? The weather's been so nice, hasn't it? It's so weird. It doesn't feel like September. Like, we ne like I've never known weather to be like this. We had, like, an awful summer, though. I'm not going to lie. So it's nice to have a bit of, of a late summer. It's just, it's just, it's typical, isn't it? Because the, the sun comes out when the kids go back to school. It's just absolutely typical. Uh, something we can't manage. But it's still nice to have. And we got it over the weekend as well, which was nice. I am going to be doing an updated uh, house vlog shortly, like soon. Because we've got our sofa coming this week. And we've got... A dining table coming this week and I'm also looking at the dining room and I'm debating on decorating it so I may vlog that um but yeah I'll keep you updated we'll definitely keep you updated there we go I have done the last day trend yay I'm so excited I'm so happy maybe a little bit late but I'm happy <laughs> so this is the finished look it is honestly gorgeous. That highlight, I just can't get over it. But yeah, it is stunning. If you like this video, please, please, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Love ya. Bye.